Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on Dentistry and more. Today's topic is healthcare delivery system in India. So in India, how the health is provided to the people. So let's see what is health and what is care. Health is a fundamental right. Um, according to WHO definition, we have already seen this definition. It is a complete state of physical, mental and social well-being and not just the absence of disease or infirmity. Care is what uh, service is rented by members of the health profession. It can be classified as healthcare or medical care. So healthcare is a multitude of services provided to individuals by uh, agents of health services or profession. It includes everything. It includes hospitals, it includes PHCs, sub-centers, community health centers and NGO workers and voluntary associations. Uh, medical care is strictly based on the uh, services that are provided directly by the physicians or rented as a result of physicians instructions which is a subset of health care so medical care is when we seek for a service uh, when we go to a hospital and uh, we diagnose with a disease and doctor prescribes certain treatments or certain care so that becomes medical care so this is a small subset because uh, not all people uh, go to medical uh, care because uh, many of the people will not be knowing uh, the disease what they have because mostly they will be on asymptomatic or early stage so healthcare is uh, a multitude of uh, services and medical care is just a subset of healthcare which is directly given by the physicians so the best way to provide healthcare to the vast majority of undeserved rural people and urban poor is by primary healthcare services. So primary healthcare is what India is following currently because uh, India is such a huge country with uh, around 130 crores of people. So building uh, so many hospitals and so many medical colleges will not be sufficient for uh, such a huge country with such a huge population. Uh, and uh, the best way to provide a good health, a optimum health for all the citizens of India is to provide health at the grassroots level or at the primary level through the primary health centers and sub-centers. That is a concept India adopted after 1978. So that is known as primary health care. We'll uh, see uh, much more details of primary health care in the coming slides. So primary health care has a biggest advantage of community participation because we are involving the community people into this health system so that the health will be accessible for many of the people. So levels of healthcare. So I told you that primary level of healthcare that is the first contact of this individual's family and community with the health system. So that is a grassroots level. It is usually done by primary health centers and sub-centers. We know that every Indian can uh, reach to a sub-center or a primary health center by walking or by using a bicycle or rickshaw because it is uh, that much spreaded out in our country. Any Indian can have an access to a sub-center or primary health centers. But uh, lakhs of people are not having access to a medical college or a bigger hospital or a tertiary care hospital. So the accessibility is the prime, prime most important thing in healthcare facility. So if you have a good access uh, people will seek uh, for health care so primary health centers and sub centers are the primary care unit so these are the agencies for multi-purpose workers village health kids and trained guys so we know uh, we have seen many people in our uh, villages uh, with name multi-purpose worker village health guide asha workers uh, trained guys so they are connecting link between the people and our primary care level that is PHCs and subcenters so these people are working for us under PHC and subcenters so these are the connecting link between people and primary level so what is secondary level so as the level goes the number of uh, healthcare system reduces but the facility increases so the secondary level is next higher level more complex problems are dealt with uh, they are like district hospitals and community health centers they have more beds more doctors more facilities 
uh, x-ray facilities or uh, more surgical options uh, so they have uh, better facilities but they will be less in number compared to the uh, primary level so tertiary le care level is the most specialized level of care and which requires specific facilities and highly specialized health workers so they are the ultimate level of health care so beyond that there is no level of health care and the tertiary levels are very few in number just like uh, government hospitals that is government medical colleges uh, all in the institute of medical science or such tertiary level where all the treatment facility for an individual will be done okay so these are the medical colleges all in the institute regional hospitals and specialized hospitals so let's see what are the changing concepts of healthcare so we have seen many changing concept the changing concept of health changing concept of public health so that is different we are seeing changing concepts of healthcare in our country or in world so the first one was comprehensive healthcare which was first used by Bohr committee in 1946 it meant provision of integrated so integrated preventive curative and promotional health services it is a comprehensive way so we give everything from home to home so from a childbirth till he goes to a tomb so all preventive curative promotional services will be provided that is a very holistic approach and very idealistic approach to will be provided to uh, individuals residing in a defined geographic area so that was comprehensive healthcare then the basic health services put forward by UNICEF and WHO in 1965 it is like network of coordinated peripheral and intermediate health units which are capable of performing effectively a selected group of functions essential to the health of an area and assuring the availability of competent professional and auxiliary persons it is nothing but just like our primary health centers and community health centers they act as a peripheral and intermediate units with proper workforce and to provide health care so that is basic health services that is different different concept how to provide health to people and this is most accepted uh, concept in the developing country or a country with huge population where the accessibility is an issue that is primary health care concept so it is uh, started in a world health assembly that is almata conference 1978 almata is a place in ussr that is russia so this has defined as a healthcare based on practical scientifically sound socially acceptable methods and technology made universally accessible so accessibility is a big thing to individuals and families through their full participation community participation is a key at a cost that the community and country can afford so in uh, china there were doctors like barefoot doctors they used to go to houses and treat uh, patients so from that concept this uh, primary health care is evolved because it has to be at accessible level and socially acceptable level and also with a full participation of the community so what are the principles of primary health care so again we have seen different principle principles of health education principles of epidemiology so many principles are there uh, so never get confused so principles of primary health care so how a primary health care should be so the first one is equitable distribution so equity and equality is different equality is if we have uh, if we have uh, 50 people and uh, if we have 50 apples and five people if it is equally distributing means we give 10 apples to each person that is one will be getting 10 so total 50 but if it is an equitable distribution we need to first know the need of the person if one feels very hungry we need to provide more apples to that person if one feels not very hungry we can we, we can give a little bit of apples like four or five apples if somebody is not at all feeling hungry we can just provide him one or two apples it is based on the felt need need of a person how much he wants so that is equitable distribution so there should be a social justice 
so always there should be injustice when we give equal distribution we cannot provide equal uh, healthcare to all the people because rural people are more affected with diseases so they should be more they should be given more health facilities compared to the urban people so that is equity so equitable distribution is the irrespective of their ability to pay and all must have access to health service so that is the first and foremost principle equitable distribution then community participation that is the key of primary health care we should involve the people from the community so we have seen the primary health centers our workers like village health guide asha workers local guys they are all selected from that community itself so they are the non people for the villages so when there is a problem they'll ease they have a very ease of access to these people they communicate very well compared to some other unknown stranger who has come from different state or different part so they don't get a good rapport with strangers so when they have a very known people when they have a neighbor at primary health centers they communicate very easily and uh, they have a good understanding and the rapport will provide a good health care for those in need so that is community participation just like village health guide local dais and asha workers they are taken from the community itself and the third principle is intersectoral approach so always there should be intersectoral coordination of the all the activities so any activity we are planning to put into this community there should be a communication between all the sectors administrative section political section and the health department and the educational department and all other departments should be in uh, unison to provide a proper program which would benefit for the community and the last one is appropriate technology the technology should be appropriate based on the needs of the community so community the people should accept it people should comprehend it so it is scientifically it should be scientifically sound adaptable to local needs that is important it should be uh, adaptable to local needs we provide a, a screen with uh, health education classes with uh, english language or any other language uh, in a rural area is not at all acceptable it is not at all uh, adaptable to local needs so i have an acronym uh, for this also ecis that is equitable distribution community participation intersectoral coordination and this is a sorry this is a ecia so eclair cake is awesome so that is the name so we have that epidemiology acronym every coffee requires sugars so that is e c r s so this is ECIA. So let it be uh, anything ECIA or ECRS. So just keep in mind that primary health care uh, is a village uh, level provision of health care through the community participation and with equitable distribution. So though these are the principles of primary health care. So now we uh, look into health care system of our country. So we have basically five levels that is public health sector, private and indigenous system, voluntary health agencies and national health programs. So public health sector, we have primary health care, uh, that is primary health centers and sub-centers, this is secondary level, that is community health centers, rural hospital, district hospital, and uh, this is tertiary level like specialist hospital. Then we have few health insurance schemes like uh, ESIS and central government health schemes and some other agencies they provide to their employees like defense and uh, railway hospitals so we know that uh, the main sector is belong to this private sector so private hospitals polyclinics nursing homes and we have our own medical system that is ayurveda which is indian origin siddha yunani homeopathy and we have voluntary health agencies and various national health programs which was under the five-year plans so what are the primary health care uh, system in India 
so we have three tier system so this is a common question what is the three tier system of primary health care or rural health care so we have sub center primary health centers and community health centers so this is a three tier system and we provide primary health care okay so these are the people uh, these are the programs or these are the people which connect people to our sub center or the primary level that is village health guide local dais asha workers so these are the people who are involved in the village in among the people those people like uh, ashas and uh, local dais and village health guide connect the people to primary level that is sub centers or primary health centers so village level we have seen uh, it is for equitable distribution so we have many schemes at village level that is village employed icds local dais and asha workers asha is accredited social health activists so let's see what is village health guide scheme which was started in 1977 under community health worker scheme it is a person with good social service and not a full-time government employee so it will be the first contact between individual and health system so it was uh, launched in all states except kerala karnataka tamil nadu ap and jammu kashmir because already there were existing programs in uh, kerala karnataka all these states already have having program so in union uh, ministry in 2002 uh, discontinued this program and uh, later uh, asha program was replaced so local dais so this village health care preferably will be women of six standard education and they should be able to spend two to three hours every day for community health worker and will be chosen by the gram panchayat so local dais is like birth attendants so they are very uh, not very common nowadays because nowadays government is promoting a uh, hospital delivery not a house delivery so these people were trained for delivery at house so they mm, have a uh, training like phcs and sub centers for two days in a week and four days a week they accompany health worker in villages so this is mainly for the rural india where the hospital delivery is not very common so they need to conduct at least two deliveries under the guidance and they should know about asepsis they will be having a kit so icds is a wonderful program to improve the child's uh, nutritional status so it is mainly focusing on zero to six years for their psychological development it is to reduce the incidence of mortality morbidity malnutrition and school dropout so up to six years uh, the government provides uh, nutrients uh, like milk egg and cereals uh, cereals so that uh, the child will be sent to these places for at least for food so they will be getting good nutrients if they are at home a poor parent might not be able to feed him so just the for just for the sake of getting good food they will be sent to these places that is uh, mostly anganwadi anganwadis so they get uh, good nutrients and malnutrition problems will be solved to an extent so that was icds and next is asha workers so this is accredited social health activities before it was a village health guide scheme so what they do is we keep indian indian government after the nrhm scheme they work under nrhm so every uh, one uh, asha worker is for thousand population that is the norm and they will be chosen by the panchayat and asha workers will be uh, it should be between 25 to 45 years married widow or divorced woman and she should be having a education of class 8 so we'll go back to anganwadi workers so it is for thousand population and hundred such workers in each icds project so training a four months period and they'll be paid 1500 now it is very high this is very old data so they have to do health checkup immunization nutrition programs health education and preschool education 
so that's about uh, anganwadi workers and asha workers and village health guide they were the village level people which connects uh, people to health system or the primary level of health system so this is a rural healthcare so three tier system that is sub center primary health centers and community health center sub centers is the most peripheral unit between primary healthcare system and community there will be only one male multi purpose worker female and one multi purpose worker male so there will be only two people at the sub centers they have very basic uh, facilities like uh, cleaning of a wound uh, providing some basic uh, Uh, medicines whereas primary health centers is a referral unit of six sub centers which should be four to six bedded and there will be a doctor there is a medical officer and there will be 14 support subordinate paramedical staff community health centers is with 30 bed and which is of referral unit of four primary health centers with many specialized services so we have seen this sub centers referral for 6 and uh, this is for referral for 4 primary health centers so just see the scenario of india we have to select a sub center we have to keep a sub center for 5000 people and a primary health center for 30000 people and community health center for a 120000 people and it is different in hilly areas so in India presently we have around one lakh fifty thousand sub centers, twenty five thousand primary health centers, and five thousand community health centers. So these are the population they should serve. So village level, we have Dais, Anganwadi workers, village health guide schemes, and Asha workers, which connects people to sub centers. so community health centers we have seen uh, it should be uh, serving uh, 8 80000 to 1.2 lakh there should be 30 bed uh, there should be medicine surgery lab facilities x rays and uh, there should be main non medical post and community health officer so these are the community health center details so we have ayush scheme that is indian system of medic sin and homeopathy later renamed as department of ayush that is ayurveda yoga yunani siddha and homeopathy in 2003 so ayush department or ayush system came in 2003 so ayush sector consists of around 1350 hospitals and all these dispensaries so 99 colleges having post graduate department so ayush is our indigenous system So let's see what is NRHM. So NRHM is National Rural Health Mission. It started in 2005. Uh, it was uh, to provide accessible, affordable, and accountable quality of health services to the remotest rural region, with special focus on 18 states, which is having weak demographic indicators. So that is uh, NRHM. an arachim has uh, this structure that is village level gram panchayat level and cluster of uh, gram panchayat phc level and block level so these are the details thousand population village level 5 to 6 villages uh, at sub centers and 30 to 40 villages at primary health center level so always remember that phc is primary health center and again phc is primary health care so wherever it is coming it uh, meaning is different this is primary health center so primary health care is the first level of care uh, we provide again primary health care has sub centers and primary health centers so these are the nrhm goal on community involvement uh, goal capacity building flexible financing human resource management monitor against grade milestones so we have few health insurance that is uh, very health insurance there is no health insurance like european countries or uh, usa only 10 percentage indians have some forms of health insurance that is uh, one is employees state insurance scheme that is csas one uh, scheme which started in 1948 people who draw wages less than 15000 
and uh, they have cash benefits and also medical care and central government health scheme is another uh, health insurance scheme which is for exclusively for central government employees they have dispensaries and around 42 lakh beneficiaries defense medical services and health care for railway employees are the another two we have many voluntary health agencies like indian red cross society in Kusht Nivaran Sub Indian Council of Child Welfare, Joba Close Association, BSS Central Social Welfare Board, the Kasturba Memorial Board. Uh, so these are the works they do. So rural sanitation is done by Bharat Sevak Samaj, Welfare of Women by Kasturba Memorial Fund, and Hindu Kusht Nivaran Sabha Financial Assistance to Leprosy Control. So these are the activities by these voluntary health agencies. So we have many programs under national health programs which were part of our five-year plans like anti-malaria, tuberculosis, AIDS, blindness, iron deficiency, immunization program, reproductive and child health program, cancer control, minimum needs and 20-point programs. So health goals, we know that health for all was uh, our concept in public health the last concept was health for all concept 2000 so later the goals of millennium development goals came in 2015 so this was health for all goal uh, these are idealistic goals uh, WHO provides for the countries so that they can make a nationalistic plan then the millennium development goals are like eradicate poverty achieve universal primary health education all these are the millennium development goals not very important for us so that's all about the healthcare delivery systems the important things are the principles of primary health care and what is primary health care and the rural system the three tier system existing in rural that is uh, village level primary health centers sub centers and community centers that is a three tier system and the rural health system existing in india and uh, voluntary health agencies national health programs and uh, manpower in primary health centers sub centers community health centers and the levels of healthcare are the main uh, topics main uh, points in this chapter so i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more that's all for today thank you